Hey yo, it's Brian here. You're wondering, what took you so long with these prediction videos? It's been a couple of days now. You usually do it on a Tuesday, but you're doing it on a Saturday. A little bit different, I don't know. I mean, I've just been busy with other things outside of YouTube, outside of football. I wish I could do this on a full-time basis. That'd be awesome. But hey, eventually that might happen one day, which I would be excited. But anyways, let's predict the game. 49ers versus Rams. I'm excited for this matchup. Hope you guys are as well. The 49ers, they are, should be in desperation mode. If they're not, then, well, the season's pretty much over. I mean, the season is looking like it's over, but they could definitely save their season if they win this game against the Rams. Division matchup, division rival, the odds are stacked against the 49ers, definitely not just from people, but just from the team in general. It's not looking really good. I'll be talking about that in a second. Hope you guys are having a great Saturday. Hope you guys are ready for the Sunday night game tomorrow. I definitely am. And I will be staying up all night to watch that game and make a video for you guys and hopefully not get tortured like I have for the past couple of weeks like you guys have as well. Alright, so let's get this video started, but before I do, as always, please like and subscribe. It's going to help me out a lot. Click that button to get notified of future videos. Share this channel, share this content with fellow Niners faithfuls. Let's get this started. 49ers versus Rams. Prediction for Sunday. Who is going to win that game? As we all know, the 49ers, they have a ton of problems looking like for the past couple of weeks and just all season long. Quarterback play has been subpar. It hasn't been the best. Offensive line has been terrible, so that's contributing to the bad quarterback play. But the quarterbacks themselves, they do have problems. Jimmy G will be the starter for this matchup. He's had a couple of problems as well, and but he has been dinged up. A big ankle injury has not helped at all running back crew not too bad at all actually I mean considering the fact everything's been bad on offense for the most part Raheem Mostert went healthy he can get, go off he did a great job last week against the Miami Dolphins he, he was pretty much the only positive thing you can take out of for the whole offense last week I expect him to have another great game I expect Kyle Shanahan to let him run the ball even more because hey if it's working out really well you might as well just run the ball as much as you can 20 30 times I'm fine with that I mean to you have to give a lot of pressure to the Rams they had success last year against them and hopefully they do it again because I mean I don't know why Kyle Shanahan just likes to go away from the running game and try to throw the ball especially when Jimmy is kind of beat up with an ankle injury that definitely doesn't help at all the pass rush for the Rams is awesome the offensive line is not great for us so why don't we run the ball a little bit more that's just my opinion you know, I'm not a football coach or anything like that but still I mean the way I've seen the 49ers for the past year or two or even the past couple of years they've always been a great running team you just go with that that's the identity of this team for the most part you just got to run with it. That'll be the way to win the game, in my opinion. So, Raheem Mostert, I expect him to get a lot of carries for this matchup. And even then, you have other guys to go to. You have Jeff Wilson Jr. That's going to be a big help as well. I mean, not just the running game. That should be the big theme for the 49ers tomorrow. I hope they're going to run it as much as they can. And that's what you got to do, pretty much. Play action, all that cool stuff. I mean, Kyle Shanahan, a little bit gimmicky, but at the same time, it does work out. I mean, a lot of misdirection, and they, that's what they really need to go back to if you're the 49ers. But, you know, it's a little bit different because the defense isn't as good as it was last year, Bosa, Solomon Thomas being out for the rest of the year, Richard Sherman being out for a while, Ronald Blair, he's probably going to be out for a, a while, while, I mean, he wasn't scheduled to come back until week six or seven after the pup uh, list, but, you know, that's not looking good that he, if he's going to be out for a while, but the 49ers, they just have to adjust with the players that they have and do their best to what they got, and so far, they have not done a good job with that, I mean, I saw last week, it was the epitome of non-adjustments, you see Brian Allen getting destroyed by Ryan Fitzpatrick, but yet, not doing anything for him, not getting help, not not yanking them or anything like that. That's just pretty disappointing right there. But hopefully the 49ers, they learned their lesson. And the game against the Dolphins, maybe that, that is a good thing for the 49ers that they got blown out big time by them because that could be a wake-up call for them. I mean, you see a couple of years ago with the Patriots when they won their Super Bowl, Jimmy G was there in 2014. Tom Brady... Bell Belichick, they got their absolute worst defeat against the Kansas City Chiefs, but like 41-14, to 14, they just looked defeated, and a lot of people say it was the end of the dynasty, but yet they were able to come back, win the Super Bowl against Seattle, and still have a great, what, four or five years, won another Super Bowl too. That's the 49ers, that's what they can do for this season if they want to turn it around, is to just to get psychologically defeated like that rally together and win the next game and have a great role for the rest of the year. That's what I'm hoping the 49ers do. Reminisce those days of the Patriots when they were down and had a bad loss. Hopefully they did that this week and hopefully they are motivated times 100 to win this game against the Rams. I'm just going off a tangent right now, but yeah, I love these 49ers. I still think they could be a great team. The injuries, they do hurt a little bit, but I know the coaching staff, the players, they could do much better than they have been all year long. And they've shown some good moments, but for the most part, very inconsistent play. 
like just something's wrong with this team so far, and hopefully it's not the Super Bowl hangover. But I would be declaring it a Super Bowl hangover almost officially pretty much after tomorrow if they lose this game against the Rams because I think the playoff hopes the division title is pretty much out of the picture. But anything is possible. The 49ers, they do need to win this game in order to keep their hopes high for the rest of the year. Offense, Jimmy G has to play better. The offensive line, they're the big key for this whole matchup. They got to defend against Aaron Donald and company. Hopefully they have a better game. Trent Williams, Mike McGlinchey, they better get some big coaching one-on-one to get better, to essentially to do better. But they have been in the, for the past couple of weeks because they've been pretty trash for the most part. And hopefully that's a motivating factor. Wide receiving core, Richie James is scheduled to come back. He just got off the injured reserve list. They activated him. Hopefully that's going to be a big spark in the offense. I mean, that guy... You need a big spark. You need something going on. You need like a big touchdown run. He could be your man right there. So hopefully Kyle Shanahan uses him a little bit more often. That would be great. Brandon Ayuk, Debo Samuel, use those trick plays. Use those running back sweeps, whatever you want whatever you want to call it. I don't even know what you call it exactly. But if you do those sweeps with the with both of them, that should be a big success. You have George Kittle, one of the best Titans in the NFL. Use him as well. I mean, this offense on paper looks amazing. It looks awesome, but just the execution. Something's really off, and Kyle Shanahan just needs to run the ball more in my opinion so offensive they could do that that would be a good day for them hopefully defensively a lot of things need to happen for them they need to put pressure on Jared Goff actually Goff I'm going to give him some compliments for the first time in a couple years he's actually playing really good football I can't knock him this year in particular he's done a fantastic job with the Rams this year so far I think he's only like what six to two in terms of touchdowns and interceptions he's led them to almost a big win against the Buffalo Bills that big 28 to 3 huh <laughs> 28 to 3 he's a big reason why that they're doing awesome so far in Los Angeles and gotta give him and Sean McVay a lot of credit but defensively got to get some pass rush the secondary that's probably the biggest concern I have coming for both sides of the ball I mean I don't want golf to be just going off all day and just going crazy against this defense because we're not the best man defense for this defensive back for especially for a high-flying team like they are but luckily Emmanuel Mosey he should be returning I mean he listed as questionable for this game but if he comes back I feel a little bit more comfortable if him and Witherspoon can kind of start as a cornerback position for what we got I think I'll be a little bit more comfortable than like like Brian Allen or Jamar Taylor, whoever it was last week. He played terrible, just like Allen. So if you got those two as much as you can, that would be awesome. But if not, then just got to go, go what you got to go, right? Kwan Alexander, he's going to be out for this game. I forgot what injury he had exactly, but he's going to be out for a second. But I don't think it's going to be too serious to the fact he will miss the season. I think he'll just miss a game or two. So that's, I guess, good and bad news. But I do love you some Kwan Alexander, one of my favorite players on the 49ers. But you do have Fred Warner. I mean, that guy is probably the best middle linebacker I've seen with Bobby Wagner right now this year he's done a great job so far so far in San Francisco and he's pretty the, much the big positive that we have on this defense right now and the defensive line as I said they got to put pressure on golf they have to do whatever they can to stop the running game if they can do that then I guess it could be a good win Robert Sala needs to do a better job adjusting just look at his players what he has moving on because he has not been doing a good job adjusting to football teams for the past couple of weeks now so really 49ers Hopefully the Dolphins game was a big loss. Hopefully it was one of those things where it could really ignite them to do better. And I think it will. I think this game will be hopefully a little, lot better than people anticipate. I think people are going to anticipate the Rams to blow us out because, I don't know, we've been a bad team. And, you know, no fault to that because we have been a bad team all year long so far. Even the Jets and Giants, I don't know. They were just two bad teams, but so far we haven't beat a really credible team, and this could be our first credible win for the re for this whole season tomorrow if they can win it. But Kyle Shanahan, I'm going to be putting faith on him that he just big time. I'm going to be putting faith on Jimmy G to play a lot better this time around. I'm going to be putting faith on the running game that they play well. And yeah, that's all I can go with pretty much. But if I had to go with the win, I'm big picking the 49ers just a little bit. I think the 49ers, as I said, they're motivated to win this game. And I think if you're in desperation mode times 100, then this is it right here. This is pretty much the make or break season. If they win this game, then they're still in. If they lose this game, then they're pretty much out for the rest of the year. You might as well just kind of cruise control for the rest of the year, in my opinion. San Francisco, I have them winning this game. If I had to pick a final score, I would pick Jimmy G and company to win this game about 26 LA 23. I know that sounds kind of a low scoring, especially for the Rams. I'm putting a lot of faith in them. If I they win this game, that I'll look smart. If I don't, 
then I'll look really dumb, right? So San Francisco, I'm picking them to win this game just by a slight bit. I think just being in desperation by the time to 100, that should really ignite them to play really well. And also that Dolphins game, they got to redeem themselves, definitely. That's pretty much it, you guys. Please let me know what you guys think about the 49ers and Rams game. I like what you had to say in the comments below. If you guys like this, please like and subscribe. That's going to help you out a lot. I'll be catching you guys up tomorrow on Sunday. Do a little bit of hype before the game. Do a post-match talk after the game. Bye, guys. Love y'all. Have a great night. Go Niners all day. Hot boys.